Hello and welcome to this new video. I'm Lee and today I'm going to be building upon my series of how you can instantly up your iPhone photo game. And today we're going to be specifically talking about um, the orange and teal look. And this is a way that you can edit your photos once you've taken them to give them quite a cinematic look. Now, it's a style that has become very, very popular online. There's a lot of vloggers and people that are adopting this look because of the way it looks. It always looks so warm and inviting and atmospheric and cool. Okay, so a lot of people are using it, but it's nothing new. It's nothing new because it's been used in lots of films and once you start thinking about it you'll notice it now if I just show you if I just search for orange and teal movie you'll see the orange and teal is effectively two tones of color in a picture and we're talking about the orange and we're talking about the teal and teal is a kind of greenish blue okay and as I say once you kind of notice it you'll see the you'll see these colors being very evident in lots and lots of films and film posters. So as you can see, I'm just scrolling through uh, and you can see that they're all quite bright blues, bluey greenies and quite um, bright oranges. And it particularly works well with pictures that have a lot of high shadow content in them. So, as I said, I started thinking about this last night, and it's funny. I was watching a film called Source Code. You may have seen it. And as I started watching it the first few minutes, I could see that orange and teal was very evident in this film. Okay, so you're going to see like his skin tone's got a very orangey vibe, and everything else kind of has quite a blue tinge. Um, You'll see a clothing, the background, the the shadows of the train. So the you can see the greenery outside. You can see the the seating of the chairs. It's got that kind of teal look. And if you'll see the outside again, we can see this this look, this orange and teal look. So it's very evident. And then this morning, when I started going through things, I was looking at um, some of my music, and I initially, I straight away got drawn to this photo uh, cover, the Oasis, definitely, maybe. And again, they have utilised the same colours. Okay, so as I say, it's not a new technique, but it's a technique that people really, really like, and it can make your photos look absolutely amazing. Okay, so. Let's just jump across to my mobile phone because this is what it's all about. It's about upping your game on your phone, okay? So let's just get the screen up and, yep, yeah, there we go. So for this tutorial, I'm using Lightroom. So we just open Lightroom. And remember to jump back to my previous video where I spoke about how you can instantly up your photos just in a matter of seconds. So just for... Uh, just to show you some of those pictures uh, and what I did like I showed you that this is the end product this photo looks so vibrant so everything looks good but the original photo was this wow so you can see how that's changed just by doing three simple settings look at some of the others I took again we click on it that's what it looked like before dull and washed out and just a few settings, look at the photo that I've ended up with. Just three settings on my phone. It's incredible, okay? But let's just have a look at what we can do with the orange and teal effects. Okay, so I've just got another folder, and I've got a few images here. It's a mixture of pictures to play with, but let's roll with what we've got uh, for these examples. I'm going to use two of these pictures. I'm going to use this one first. We're going to click on the temperature icon that you've got there, and this brings up a number of options. The first thing we want to do is we want to click on mix at the top. This brings up the colors. 
We've got all the colors running across the top and we have the opportunity to individually change the hue, saturation and luminance of each individual tone. Now, there's a few that I like to do just off the bat and they don't necessarily do anything that's visually um, that you can visually see straight away. Okay, and first of all, that's red, and I just have the saturation of the red. I then move on to the orange, and I, sorry, saturation. I then go to the orange, and I up the hue by quite a bit, quite a bit, maybe 80 odd. Then I move on to the yellow, and I reduce the hue down to the orange and I increase the saturation. So let's just look at that, what we've done so far. We have brought quite a bit of orange. You can see that into the trees, um, into the flowers in the grass, and we can see a bit of a change in the actual stonework of the buildings. I then like to jump across to the blue section and reduce the hue. Now you're gonna see a dramatic change in the sky, and it all depends on how much um, of this effect that you want to do because you can go all the way and it can be like wow it can be so eye-catching but then it looks a little bit unrealistic so as I'm, I'm going to show you with the hue as I start to drop the blue look at the sky really start to change now realistically that's probably sufficient and when we look at the original shot it's blue sky but fairly dull but now we've really got that orange and Orange and teal look, it looks, fan the photo looks fantastic already. I mean, I'm really, really impressed with that. But if you look, if I pull it all the way to the cross, it, it looks crazy. It looks like some sort of, something has gone crazy in the sky. Okay, but let's just, uh, let's just stick that back to how we had it, around about 40-ish. Okay, and we then click done. Okay, and, and that's basically it, but obviously, we have a number of options we can we can do to, to further improve photos. I always like to do three three things in pictures using this program. And um, first of all, I like to blow out the shadows somewhat. Okay, I like to blow out the shadows to just bring a little bit more detail in. Okay, I always like to do that. And, and then I like to move to the temperature where we were before and improve the vibrance. And this isn't that important because we have actually played with the colors already. So be quite strategic with the vibrance. If you're not gonna do the orange until look and you're not gonna play with the colors independently, you can whack out the vibrance and it really does make a, a, a lot of difference. But in this case, because we've played with it slightly, probably isn't that important with the vibrance, okay? Sometimes it can be uh, better to leave it fairly low. Now, the last section is the clarity, and this will bring up a lot of the blacks, a lot of the, the edges, okay? And again, this is up to personal preference. When I'm not doing the orange and teal look, I like to whack it all the way up. And you can get a little bit of noise, um, obviously, because you're bringing... Um, the edges into it, you're sharpening it, but it can really make a photo. I mean, look at the difference between the two. We've got the orange and teal look, we've brought out some of the shadows as well. So we've really got um, an impressive photograph there. Right, so let's move on and try it with a another photo and see what we can do with the second photo, which is slightly different, okay? So let's just see what we've got. So we're gonna flick across to this one. Looks really dull. This was exactly what I took with my phone. As you can see, a lot there's a lot washed out there. Um, it looks really dull. It wasn't a particularly great day. It wasn't raining, but it wasn't a great day, okay? So let's just see what we can do with our effects. So as we say, we click on the temperature icon, we then click on mix, we then uh, saturation up by about 50. On the red, on the orange, on the orange, we up the hue by quite a bit. Quite a bit. Let's have a bit more. The yellow, the hue goes down. More towards the orange tones. As you can see, if you look 
um, at the sliders, you can see that what the color is going to edge towards, depending on what you move it. So you can see with the hue um, under yellow, when I move it across, it's edging towards orange looking. The other way, it's going to go more green. Okay, so you can see what you're you're going to be achieving. So as I say, the yellow, the hue gets down, but the saturation that gets increased quite a bit. So let's just see what we've got looking at the screen. Now we can see that the trees are changing, some of the mid-tones in the building, and we can see the details in the archways. Um, the orange has really started to um, sh sh press out, basically. We can really see it, okay, it's standing out, okay. We're now going to move over to the blue where we see a significant change. And as we say, we can move that as far as we feel is suitable. Now I'm going to move it there and I'm going to look between the two. And you can see the difference before. Just very, just grey and, and quite mundane there. Um, but we can see that we've really started to bring out the orange and teal effect. Now I'm going to click done there and I'm going to look at some of my usual effects to see whether I can improve this photo and bring it out further. So the first thing is under the light, the shadows, we're going to drop some of them out. I'm going to wash out some of those shadows so we can see more of what's happening in the photograph. And that's the combination with the clarity. Okay, so You drop the shadows and increase the clarity and you see more detail but it's more contrasting, okay? So again, this one with the vibrance, you don't always have to do it, but depending on the picture, it can have an effect. So if I went all the way across, you can see that it, it doesn't look that effective. The shadows have gone very, very uh, till looking, which isn't always uh, what we want to achieve. So we're just gonna improve that just a little bit. And then we're going to move across to the clarity and we're going to bring that right up and there you go. So we've managed to give you quite an impressive end result there. Just looking at what it was like before, washed out, dull, and then we've got brought in a really kind of atmospheric, striking orange and teal, teal photograph, which is, which is really good, really, really cool. So I'm, I'm really happy with... Uh, the end result that we've got on those two photographs. So, as I say, this was the second in a series of videos where I'm showing you how you can up up your iPhone photography game, not your your photography game in general, but specifically on your iPhone. Okay, so as I say, the first one was just some real tweaks where you can instantly improve photographs you've taken. This one builds upon it by introducing you to the orange and tilt effect to really make your photographs pop, okay? And we'll be moving forward with some other videos where we'll be showing you some other techniques to take really cool looking photographs. So if you enjoyed this video, you took in any help from it, click the thumbs up button, click subscribe, hit me up with some comments, and we'll see you in the next video. I've been Lee.